Hey guys, it's Sunday for us, but you're watching this on Monday. I thought I'd throw Drew into this intro since you guys like him so well. Tell him happy Vlogmas Day 13. No. Say it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Israel said he wants happy. to say it. Say happy Vlogmas Day 13. 13. That's good enough. You gotta put your hand over the camera. <laughs> Not too hard. I think Sundays and the weekend in general are supposed to be laid back, but when you're running your own business and life as a reseller, like there is no such thing as a laid back day. You have to go on vacation. Um, so today is another busy day. I'm actually about to head to Walmart because I have to get stuff for the kids' breakfast and lunch. Nothing like Sunday um, to, to have to run to the grocery store. Uh, Am I, am I right? But I thought while I'm at Walmart, I'll go ahead and take a peek down the clearance aisle and show you guys if there's any retail arbitrage worthy items there. I have a box that I need to get for a large item and I'll show you guys how I'm gonna pack it later. I can't believe I haven't packed it yet, but it is what it is. Anyway, so I'm gonna have to pick up some packing supplies for that. Ooh, I need to add mattress pad to my shopping list because I need some of that. I'm gonna get a couple Christmas gifts also. Tonight I am on with the Nashville Flippers. I will have their channel in the description of this video. Um, by the time you guys see this video, that will already have aired, but you can go back and watch the replay and then they also do it as a podcast anywhere where you get your podcast you'll be able to listen to that so definitely looking forward to that this evening I'm wearing cha-ching king merch to Walmart which is cool I hope somebody stops me and tells me that they know who the cha-ching king is I still have not edited yesterday's vlog to post today those videos seem to be coming out later and later there's just you know there's a hundred things to do in the day I spent the morning cleaning the house like everyone says you know our, being a reseller and being a youtuber is a lot well being a reseller and being a youtuber and being a mom and a wife and taking care of the kids in the house and just all the things it's a lot you really do want to stretch some more hours into your day so we'll see what all I can fit into today I guess I didn't really see anything with a ton of value in it in the clearance aisle. I recorded some things that I thought were interesting, but this just this just isn't the type of sourcing that makes my heart sing. It would have to be pretty exciting or a pretty incredible deal before I get very excited about retail arbitrage. But I mean, some of these deals were really good. Like like $15 for an item that retails for 40. Um, and there were these little uh, shimmer lotion, body lotions that retail at $25. They were only $5 and there was a ton of them. Um, but yeah, again, it's just not something that really makes my heart sing. I don't get excited about this. I value the treasure hunt more than anything else in reselling. So it is time to buy some more mattress pad. For those of you who ask what brand of mattress pad I get, I get the Mainstays brand right here at Walmart. It's $10 for a twin size. So screenshot this. This works so wonderful in shipping breakable items. They were completely out of large boxes. They only had this medium size. So I decided to try to get two of them and stack them on top of each other. Hopefully that'll work for the item that I need to ship. Okay, so this is what I'm shipping, this clothing rack, and um, they didn't have any large boxes. They had medium, so I got two of the medium boxes, and then I have this roll of, this is actually a really thick wrapping paper, but I'm going to be using it as a packing paper. You can see I only paid $15 for this huge roll at a gift wrap shop, so it's a really thick paper. I think it's going to crunch up and, and do really well as a packing paper. It's, it's just super thick. So um, here's what I've done so far. I have um, made up one of the boxes and left it open. I'm gonna fill the bottom of it with packing paper and then it's like the perfect size. Look at this. It's the perfect size here. So this will be sitting on packing paper. And then this one, I'm going to close up the top and it's going to slide down over the top of this box. I tried it out in the store, you guys saw it there. And then packing paper is going all around everything. So I think this is gonna be a great idea. Lots of tape will be used. <laughs> Let's see how it works. Okay, I have the packing paper now in the bottom of it. Let's set this stand in here. Sorry, I'm talking a little bit quietly, guys. My youngest son is already asleep. So this is sit on top of this now. I'm going to fill some of the voids with additional packing paper as well. But let's go ahead and get this box on the top of here. Okay, so two of these is actually like if I, if I bring it up to where 
they're just almost meeting it is the perfect height so i don't really have any space to lose down here i'm going to use my ebay tape um, because this is definitely not going priority mail and tape all the way around this box and make sure it's super super secure and then start stuffing the inside Drew's determined that this thing can come apart, but I told him that it was just kind of spinning whenever I listed it. I originally tried to take it apart and I felt like it was so delicate that I was going to strip it out while I was trying. You see what I mean? Like I didn't want to strip it out. He's going to take this thing apart. He's taking it apart. I just don't know about... Like, do you think this eBay buyer is going to be mad when they get it and it's some assembly required? And see those pieces, definitely don't take those off. I feel like that was the piece that was giving me such a hard time. I mean, I could make it flatter now. It doesn't have to be this big thick box, which is going to save me so much shipping because it could be something flat like this. Really? Okay, that's a lot smaller, but... Yeah, I don't know. That's about as far down as I think I'd want to take it down. I have to clean it up before I send it to. Okay, so that's definitely a lot flatter. Yeah. Let me get it. Put this here so it'll stay square oh, yeah. in one and spot. These won't wobble around. And that, I mean, you don't have to have that ginormous box. Thing. Why are you making fun of my refrigerator box? Just saying. A little overkill. You don't think they'll be mad that there's like some assembly required though when they get it? I mean, you could help them out on the shipping. Like refund their shipping, if especially if it's like grossly. I mean, if it's okay, not, that's a good idea. And when I send them a refund on the shipping, I can be like, hey, I was able to ship this better because I took the bottom plate off. The the spindles just screw in when you get it, yep. and then they'll be happy. Be, you I'd really be are the real MVP, honey. Be, be you should be a reseller. If electricity doesn't work out for you. Electricity? <laughs> we have electric cars now, honey. If there will always be electricity. If electrical things end up not being your thing in the future, <laughs> you should resell and ship stuff and be like... What? The bearded mastermind. The, the king. Yeah. But not the cha-ching king the that's taken. King. <laughs> now I gotta take my box back apart but I hadn't put a lot of tape on it because uh, he did, wasn't liking the idea I'm gonna take the back box back down and now are you laughing at me what? <laughs> did did you just laugh at me at me <laughs> I've cut my mattress pad in half and I'm about to lay the <laughs> rack on top of it and i think drew's going downstairs to get the shrink wrap we're gonna like wrap it so that it doesn't go anywhere all right here we are I'm gonna wrap this up okay i have wrapped the body i mean the um thing <laughs> it looks pretty good do you think it looks good drew yep. are you good proud of day. me are you proud of me good say that you're proud of me you're proud of me Okay, I don't know if this is the best looking box on the block, but it looks pretty good. It looks pretty nice and it's going to be, maybe it'll be half price to ship it since it's half the width now. I don't, I don't know. We'll see how much it costs to ship. I just have to shout out my husband real quick for saving my skin on this. So you'll see the buyer paid $30 for shipping of the luggage rack. I have it at FedEx ground, seven pounds, 10 ounces, 42 by 20 by eight. And that is gonna cost me $23.44. This is the dimension that Drew knocked in half. So if I change that to 16, it goes from $23 to $57. And it would have added um, weight also and probably knocked it up to like a nine pound weight with the extra cardboard. 
Yeah, thanks honey. This is real life you guys. I'm all out of printer paper and I need to print a FedEx label and I don't have four by six labels for that new brother printer. And I'm gonna use this piece of notebook paper. I feel like Adam Pittsburgh Picker. I'm trying my best, Sarah. I'm trying my best. It's also a good time to plug Pittsburgh Picker because they are my guest on this Friday Night's Life. And since we're out of paper, I'm gonna show you an even cheaper way to print a scan form. So I'm going to print you SPS scan form, generate a label, generate, we're going to OK, go down here to print, and then when this print page pulls up, guess what I'm going to do, you guys? This works at my post office. I'm not saying it will work at everyone's. I'm going to take a picture of the barcode. Might want to take a picture of the entire scan sheet if your USPS workers don't love you and know you and trust you like mine do. I cannot believe how much money we ended up saving just by cutting that box down. Like, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to let Drew see that. I might not live that one down. I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog. I am still really enjoying making them for you. And I just wanted to thank you again for your super support. Like the last vlog was the most popular one yet. And I just really appreciate that after really two weeks of this, you guys are still tuning in and looking forward to the vlogs daily. So thanks again. Um, you have given me such a tremendous amount of support this year in 2021. And it's literally the best gift that I could even receive right now. So God bless you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And remember, treat your business like your business. All right. <laughs>